Hello, I'm Gamir and today in this video I'm going to do a little quick review of the Galaxy S4 Active this uh, AT&T exclusive um, Galaxy S4 variant is from... this is an unlock model and I tried using it for like 4 days uh, because I wanted to see um, if it is still usable to uh, use the Galaxy S4 Active like with the Android Lollipop and the Snapdragon variant because this is the Snapdragon variant um, then as you can see here this phone has a pretty good display like you can see the text here they are very detailed and also, you can see that there's the, the uh, charging port missing because, uh, I mean, the charging cover is missing because it didn't come with one. So the phone is like pretty good. I mean, the performance obviously bad because this is like a very old phone, but it is still usable. I used it with some apps and use uh, 4G LTE. It runs slower than the 4G uh, LTE on my Note 9, which is I'm using to record this video from, but still usable. Um, the display is good. It's not an OLED as the normal Galaxy S4, but this is IPS instead. Some people prefer IPS display, but I would like more to have OLED displays because they the, the blacks are actual blacks and the contrast looks well, I think the screen actually looks the same as the IPS, just that the blacks are actual blacks and safe battery. Since this is the first active, maybe Samsung didn't, this is like the first one they made. Uh, but the thing is, is that this phone, the phone didn't come with the active key, like as you can see on the Galaxy S5 active, they started using it. The battery stay the same. The only thing different from this phone and the normal Galaxy S4 is that it used a worse panel. Like the quality of the panel is a little bit worse. So this is not OLED, this is IPS. And the camera is uh, 8 megapixel instead of the 16, I think it was on the normal S4. So let me show you the camera app. So this is the camera app. And it has this option here as you can see we have some like it records i mean these photos and this resolution so this is the maximum 8 megapixel and this one has let's see on the video side it records up to 1080p resolution so it's pretty good but like it's it's worse than the galaxy s4 the normal one but in exchange what you guys a stronger uh, build that is more rugged. It's not as rugged as the S5 Active, like of course not. The S5 Active they upgraded, but I'm going to talk about that phone later. The speakers on the back. At that time they used to do that a lot with all their phones, so the speaker sounded horrible because the sound is really low, and the speaker is coming from the back, which is just doesn't make any sense. Also, another thing that I have to mention about the phone is on the design is about the buttons. Instead of the capacitive touch buttons and the uh, physical home button, this is now an physical buttons on all these three buttons, as you can see here. These three buttons are physical buttons. And that's a thing that they started doing uh, because since this is a this, they expect people to like wear a glove, so it will be for the um, touch thingy to like detect if there's a finger on there when you have gloves on. So that's why there's physical buttons. So maybe oh this this option right here. Um, well it's in Spanish, but what I what it says is that is to uh, get the touch sensitivity a little bit stronger. So just in case that you're wearing growth, it will deter uh, better the, your fingers. Um, but I don't need it because I never used the phone with glove. So 
Um, the phone runs Android Lollipop. So this is like the version 5.0.1 and it says that this is the latest version because it actually is. The Galaxy S4 comes uh, upgradable up to Lollipop. By default, I think it comes with je Jelly Bean. Um, so the phone is still usable, but some apps are not compatible with this version or maybe with this processor. I'm not sure uh, which one it will be because if I try to find as full 9 for example the app is not here like you cannot find it meanwhile the s5 at if i have it downloaded uh but i have the phone turned off so i'm gonna need to turn it on a little bit now that i'm talking about the apps let's just uh, open the s4 8 and see how's the performance so the game runs okay oh this one has sounds, I must disable the sound. So the game runs fine and it takes a lot of time to load because maybe this is old uh, processor memory. The performance on this, on general use, like going through menus and stuff, is um, it's okay as well. I mean, it's kind of slow because this phone is like five, five years old, so it's expected. As you can see, it's taking a ton of time to load the game. But it will eventually load. Also, um, I forgot to mention that I have a mission of doing something. As you can see, I have the S5 active and the S4 active. And this is just the beginning because I'm like, what I'm trying to do here is to collect every single active variant. Here's the S4 8 here. Uh, the graphics settings, I think I have it on the lowest possible. And I mean, the game runs just that it's very slow since I mean this is like a five year old phone it's expected but still it is something that I have to take note about the phone um, well there's another good thing about the LCD screen apart from uh, that has an advantage over the OLED screen and it's about burning because when I got this Galaxy S5 yeah, now I'm going to talk about the Galaxy S5. I mean, well, you look at the game performance. So, on the Galaxy S5, here's something that uh, is going on with the screen here. Let me show you. Okay. Oh, <laughs> almost slipped. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I don't know if you do notice, but like, you see this? There's some burn in. You see this all this mark here on the screen? The keyboard you kinda see it is tran almost transparent. Yeah, the screen has some burning issues. Um well I try to like minimize it by just having some white screen just going through it and again and again. But it is still there. It's just not as noticeable as before. So at least I could fix it a little bit. So here's the game running and um, like the performance is like really poor. Uh, if I remember checking the settings, um, the game runs at the high settings. So maybe that's why. <laughs> but yeah, it, it runs bad. The it, it drops frames a lot. I mean, maybe uh, it, because it runs at 30 frames per second as well. There's another thing th that the game runs at kind of very slow frame rates. But it's, it's usable, it's playable. Okay, someone will actually play this here fine. And the price of the phone was like, um, if I remember, it was like $50 or something. So you, you can see here we have some apps and stuff. And then now I'm going to play some YouTube videos so you can hear this sound. I mean, the sound is... It sounds kind of loud, but... The speaker is on the back. Looks like it's play uh, 4K60 video, but let, let me double check. Let's see, because Wi-Fi here is kind of slow. And good thing that it's not trying to update this app. But... Yeah, it does play 60 frames videos, just that 
Um, the internet here is slow. It plays videos fine. I think it plays 4K. Ah, oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Now that I remember, it doesn't play 4K videos. But about the picture quality. Well, let me show you a picture here. This is the picture of a bed and stuff. So you can see it looks really bad because of the 8 megapixels and because it is night time. This is the auto mode and this is with the night time. Auto mode, night mode. Yeah, the phone does actually have a night mode. Yes, I'm so used to do night mode. Um, it's right here. So, but it's not as good as your, you know, <laughs> P30 Pro night mode or, or Pixel 3 night sights or anything. The storage of this phone is 16 gigabytes, and the amount of RAM, I think it was two, which is pretty limited, so you cannot do multitasking. I had Facebook open here, and I think it just restarted the app. So just imagine. Let me see. I had settings open. Okay, it did the live open. How about YouTube? Do you refresh? Oh no. Well, it kind of does multitasking well, but not maybe when I have too many apps open. Let's see, if I open Twitter, just look how long it takes to open Twitter. Just look. It's really long time to open Twitter. So, of course, it's slow, but it's usable, just that it's slow. Okay. So here's a picture, and um, well, I did move my hand a little bit, I did shake a little bit. How about I put this in the middle and I take a good picture? Now, here, as you can see, it looks detailed and stuff, but 8 megapixels is not going to take you that far because you can already see some little, like, blurry stuff here and there. But it kind of looks alright. In, this is in good lighting. Just imagine when you have a average lighting. Oh, this is with the flash. Mm, it made it look completely different. It uh, has an image editor. It has a lot of stuff. So this phone is pretty good. Just not as good as it used to be. Now it's pretty slow. Camera is horrible. And the screen is not OLED. But I would prefer people to buy this phone than a sub $100 um, new phone because, well, or even this, the Galaxy S5 Active, which is more superior than the S4 Active, which this one has an OLED screen and this one is like what? It costs me about, well, less than $100, but I think it costs me like $60 and this is used I mean it's a little bit dirty and stuff and this one has an OLED screen 1080p 16 by 9 it's a more rugged design so it's more durable from from drops it's water resistant because you can see the flaps here I mean this one is as well water resistant but when I brought it, it this thing is broken so it's no longer water resistant like I really doubt it. it's going to be water resistant ever again so let me show you the uh, wallpapers, which is really cool. Um, here's the Galaxy S4 Active exclusive wallpaper. This wallpaper is for the phone, for this exact model. Next up, what I'm going to do is just try to collect every single phone. I will also do a new review of the Galaxy S6 Active, because the old one got removed from my YouTube channel and I did it in Spanish. So yeah, I'm going to do an English version of this. So, um, yeah, so comment about the phone on the comment sessions and yikes, well, it's a little bit of drop test. Subscribe to the channel if you want. And that's it. Thank you for watching the video.